Hey guys, welcome back to Callan here with Droid Life. So today we're going to look at a uh, new HTC One X or a different HTC One X than we already have. So see there, HTC One X. This is the AT&T version though. So this is the one coming to the US. As you know, we've already looked at the uh, quad core Tegra 3 version that's in Europe, unlocked. You can import it yourself if you want. But this is the version we get in the States. So it's going to ATT, it's LTE, but since it's LTE, it's got a different processor, okay? So it's got the dual core Snapdragon S4, which is no slouch. It's a great processor. And you know, and we'll do some comparisons with this one to the quad core version later. We'll get into that. Um, otherwise, it's essentially the same phone. I believe it's gonna be 199 when it comes out. Um, the only other real difference other than processors, this only has 16 gig of onboard storage and the unlocked version is 32 gig. So that's a little unfortunate just because um, it doesn't have expandable storage slots. So you can't put a micro SD card in here. 16 gig is all you get. Now you get Dropbox, like I think it's 25 or it's 25 free gigs of space in Dropbox. So they're trying to get you to go to the cloud, but a lot of people will be sort of disappointed in the fact that this uh, only has 16 gig of storage. So anyway, let's unbox it and then we'll get into benchmarks. We'll start comparing it to the other device and things like that. So in the box, Here's your quick start at t stuff. You can see you got your little guide here. Um, there's the device. Let's pull that out for a second, just set it aside. Um, here is, well, I'm not gonna pull out stuff. That would be the uh, micro SIM tool. So on the top of the device right here, you see that little hole. You need to poke that little hole to get the uh, micro SIM slot to pop out. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, inside you have a, looks like a white micro USB charger. No headphones. I believe the Euro version does come with headphones. This one obviously they're keeping the price down by going 16 gig of storage and also not putting headphones in. And uh, that's pretty much in the box. So let's go ahead and take off. Texting and driving, it can wait. I would agree with that. Um, so here we go on the back side. You can see there's no um, non-removable battery, but it is 1800 milliamp hour, which won't be too bad, although LTE is still not really that awesome on batteries. Um, there's your micro USB jack, headphone jack, microphone. There's that SIM slot. There's your power lock switch. Eight megapixel camera, shoots 1080p video. It's actually a really nice camera. There is your single flash. Um, you do have a, a pin sort of connector here, so we're assuming there's gonna be a dock at some point. And you can dock that in, and it'll either charge or you know something going on there. It does have Beats audio, so when you plug headphones in, you will get some Beats bass boost going. Um, on this right side, you have a volume rocker. On the bottom, you just have a microphone. And again, it's unibody design. You cannot take it off. Can't remove the battery. Put a bigger one in. No removable storage. Only 16 gig in the eight uh, in the AT&T version. Um, on the front though, this is the, really the star of the show, and it's the uh, 4.7 inch Super LCD 2 display, and it is remarkable to look at. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can boot this bad boy up and see where we get. But uh, yeah, the screen is unreal on this phone. I don't think there's a better screen on the planet right now. So. Um, it's just, when you're looking at it at angles and stuff, it just feels like it's at the very top of the screen. Like back in the OG Droid days, I don't know if you guys remember, it almost seemed like the OG Droid's actual screen was like a half inch below the display. It just looked odd. Um, but this thing is like flush up to the top and it's it's gorgeous. So let it boot up. There's your at t boot up. Again, dual core, Snapdragon S4, not quad core Tiger 3, but this does have LTE. There's your Beats logo. HTC One. So HTC is going with this this boot animation that just says HTC One. Even on the One S, it had the same thing. It just said HTC One, didn't say One S, and this one doesn't say One X. So anyway, again, another one other difference I guess is the uh, AT&T logo up top. So if we look at the unlocked version because it's not tied to a carrier. It just says AT&T. You can see there really is no differences between the two of these. Otherwise, it's exactly the same phone, just different processor and different storage. See that? So, exactly the same. All right, so the first time you log into or you unlock the device and get to Sense, you're welcomed with this sort of like tip screen. And you can go ahead and just hit this little X. Do you wanna show quick tips? No. All right, so here we go. So you can see up there we are on, focus baby, at t 4G. I'm in Portland, I do not believe we have at and or LTE, so it'll be HSPA for us. So that'll throw off our battery test a little bit, but anyways, we'll still get you the goods. Um, so you can see it's Sense 4.0, ice cream sandwich. So we got lots of 4.0s going on here. Um, if we go ahead and go into settings, we'll just show you that. 
about software. All right, so since 4.0, Android 4.0.3, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is the 18T 1X. Like I said, you guys have seen this before because we did the uh, quad core version. So we'll do benchmarks to so you can see the differences between the two. But really, it's going to come down to how it feels in hand, how it performs when using it. And you know, we had an HTC 1S with a Snapdragon S4, and the thing was crazy fast. I can't imagine this thing's all of a sudden going to be slow. This processor is still really, really, really good. So we're going to dive into it, full review, all that stuff. So, uh, anyways, we're Droid Life, and we're out. Peace.